Hey Pod Squad family, happy Friday. I hope you guys are all doing well and having a good day so far. And if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Wendy. And for today's Dollar Tree haul, I thought I would switch it up and do something a little bit different. So I came up with 12 different Dollar Tree gift baskets to give for Christmas. And of course you could use these ideas for other holidays or birthdays. Um, but it's kind of a haul as well because a lot of these items I did pick up this week from Dollar Tree and I haven't shared them with you guys. But if you guys watch my haul videos, you know that I am a collector of all things Dollar Tree. So I'm sure you will definitely notice some things that I have purchased in the past. But for the most part, um, a lot of these items you can still get right now at the Dollar Tree. I know each Dollar Tree kind of varies on things that they carry. Um, but I absolutely love putting together gift baskets. I think they're so fun to kind of curate and put together different themes. And I just absolutely love doing it. And I'm also all about um, budget-friendly DIYs. And so this is kind of like my thing is to create a really thoughtful and inexpensive gift that someone will love. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and you love these ideas. And before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and do an eyelash check <laughs> because if you guys saw my last video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I had an eyelash malfunction and so I just want to make sure these puppies are on there and aren't going to fly away. Um, so I think we're cleared for landing. Make sure there's no bats in the cave. All right, check. Let's go ahead <laughs> and get started. Also, really quick before we get started, I have to tell you guys thank you so much for the outpouring of support and love in the comment section of my last video. You guys are amazing. You totally lifted up my spirits, and I can't thank you guys enough. I absolutely love this community, this family that we have. I wish I could give you guys all a hug and tell you thank you so much for your support and just words of encouragement from that last video. It really means a lot to me and I love you guys so much. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with gift basket number one, which is this car wash themed basket, which I did decal with my Cricut machine. And now if you don't have a Cricut machine, you could also use Dollar Tree's poster board stickers. Of course, they're not gonna last, but it is just for, I guess, the aesthetic purposes of the basket. And I always struggle with coming up with ideas for at least the men in my family, but my husband loves to wash his cars and loves all of that kind of stuff. So I figured I would put him together a car wash bucket. He doesn't actually have a car wash bucket um, that is like designated for specifically car washes, but I did put together this. So I have some Armor All brand um, car wash stuff in here. So I have some um, cleaner, some car wash, a couple of different air fresheners in here. I have a wheel brush, some Dollar Tree foaming wheel cleaner, a large sponge, and I just stuffed some tissue at the bottom to kind of ele elevate everything up and then just used a Dollar Tree Buffalo check bow to put it all together. And so that is gift idea number one. And then gift idea number two is also a, I guess, dad themed basket. And so I put together this and I also decaled this with my Cricut, but again, you can use Dollar Tree stickers to do that if you don't have a Cricut machine. And then I also used these basket bags from Dollar Tree. They come two to a pack. So a few of these baskets I did wrap with those. And then again, I have the Buffalo check bow on this one. Um, but I just stuffed this one with different tools or things that he could use. So I have a level in here, a wire brush set, a screwdriver set. I have a little case that he can organize little things like nuts or screws in, some rope, some mini scrapers, and some goggles, and then just a, an assortment of different screws and zip ties. So I love the saying, Dad fixes everything. He has a hammer that says that, so I figured I would go ahead and give him a little toolbox 
that says that as well. These next two gift baskets are all about baking. So if you know someone that loves to bake, these are a great inexpensive um, gift idea. I plan on giving these to my neighbors. So the first one is this We Whisk You a Merry Christmas set. Um, I did pick up this pot holder at Dollar Tree and I did again um, decal it with my Cricut. I did find this design on Cricut Design Space and it took me 15 seconds using my Easy Press to make and then I just included a whisk and some brittle brownie mix. This next gift idea is a cookie baking set. So I included a cooling rack as well as a cookie sheet, a cookie plate, a oven mitt that I also decaled with the same saying as the Dollar Tree plate, Baking Spirit Sprite, and then just some tools that they would need to bake cookies and some chocolate chip cookie mix from Betty Crocker. And I just wrapped it up with some Dollar Tree ribbon and bows in the back to kind of fold everything together. So these two baking sets will go to my neighbors. Gift basket idea number five is probably my favorite out of all of the gift baskets that I made or at least the one I would be most excited to receive because it's an adult coloring book and kind of like a busy box. So there's a sketch pad in here, there's a puzzle as well as an assortment of different pens. So I have some gel pens in there, some Crayola pens, as well as some color uh, colored pencils and just little things like that. There's a calligraphy, um, learning how to hand letter book in there as well. Some seek and find, little puzzle activities. So just a little busy box um, for someone I think is a great gift idea. And then I just put it in this Dollar Tree Christmas bucket that looks like a sleigh and attached a Dollar Tree bow. Gift basket number six is a gourmet meal kit. So I have included everything besides obviously like the meat and produce that someone would need to make like a pasta dinner. So I have some rotini in there, some pasta sauce, some um, Italian salad dressing and croutons, as well as some crackers and biscottis. And then I included a Dollar Tree pan. You could also um, get a glass or a nicer pan as well for this, but this is a perfect gift idea for a neighbor um, and just a really thoughtful gift to drop someone off a meal in and just make it really um, cute. Gift basket number seven is a movie kit. This is probably the one um, DIY, gift basket DIY I've seen most done with Dollar Tree products and it's good for any time of year. But I just included two um, Blu-ray DVDs, which I did find at Dollar Tree. So there's Yogi Bear and then the movie Tammy, which is an adult movie. So there is a kid's movie and an adult movie. And then I just put some Junior Mints some M&Ms and some red vines and attached those with the Dollar Tree foam mounts and then put in some popcorn in the middle and then tied a bow around to hold it all together. Gift idea number eight is really cute and simple. It's just a cosmetic bag filled with a notebook, some mechanical pencils kind of in the same pastel colors as the notebook as well as a face mask, some hair clips, and some acrylic nails topped off with a really cute um, bow that I just stapled to the packaging of the nails and just a very cute and inexpensive gift for a teenager or preteen. And then real quick, I wanted to mention that all of the bows that I'm using are from Dollar Tree. And I think the last, not last week's video, but the week before that, I was talking about how um, I was curious if Dollar Tree had come out with any more colors or themes for these really fun bows. And I found a bunch of different options. Um, so like this one, I found the white on here and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I love Dollar Tree's bows. So I kind of just had all of these bows on my craft cart when I was putting together these boxes and was really trying to go with the color themes of the basket. 
so I think Dollar Tree's bows are amazing lots of different options these suede ones are beautiful but I think my favorite bows out of to use for these gift baskets are these fun um, kind of flower looking bows gift basket number nine is probably my second favorite because it's kind of funny but also very thoughtful because it is winter um, it is cold and flu season as well as the other thing that will not be named here on my channel um, but it's just filled with things to give someone in case um, they are feeling under the weather so I have some um, Halls throat lozenges in there some chicken noodle soup some Tylenol some word finds because you know when you're sick you're in bed so word finds are Something for them to do some toilet paper some tissue hand sanitizer as well as some hand soap and then I just topped it off with a Dollar Tree chalkboard wood tag that says in case of emergency and then some cute little bows on the side. All right, so gift baskets number 10, 11, and 12 are all spa themed baskets and I really tried to stick with a color kind of theme for these baskets. Dollar Tree sells these clear acrylic containers, two for a dollar. So I used two of those for the spa baskets and um, for the first one, I just used some hydrating facial elixir with a silicone face mask, a wet and wild mask, some um, moisturizing lip balm by Salt Range, and some cozy socks. And then again, I tried to stay with kind of the theme or the color scheme of the gift basket, so I chose co like color coordinating bows. And then I think the charcoal. Or black basket is my favorite I just love all of the different colors and things that I found from my collection so the wet and wild detoxifying deep cleansing sheet mask and then the Korean charcoal bubble face mask with the diamond nail files and the bath bomb with the bow I think just totally makes this look way more expensive than the five or six dollars that I spent on it so I love that one the most and then the very last one I just use a Dollar Tree wire basket um, gold wire basket and then found some things that I've recently hauled that were blue and purple and kind of threw them in there and then I also included a makeup brush drying rack in the back and I did end up going back and placing some tissue in the bottom of the basket because I felt like um, there was just something missing with that. All right, you guys, so that's it for this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it gave you guys some ideas or inspiration to create your own Dollar Tree gift baskets for the special people in your life. And if you did enjoy this video, I would love a thumbs up. And if you aren't currently subscribed, I would love it if you consider doing so and becoming a member of our YouTube family here on my channel. I love sharing my Dollar Tree hauls with you guys. So thank you guys again so much for watching my videos and supporting me. And let me know down below what was your favorite gift basket idea of this haul. I would love to know. Again, I think my favorite was the puzzle and um, adult coloring book box. I, th I think this would be like my favorite that if I were to receive, it would be my favorite. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And until my next video, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Bye, guys.